<laughs> hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving well. So this morning's message is very, very different. In fact, this is all about interior decorating for your heart, your soul, your mind, your light, how to keep your light on during these interesting times, especially when so many of us are working from home. And a few days ago, Lori, who's one of our community members, said, oh my gosh, James, I love your desk. I can just kind of catch a glimpse of it. Can you tell us a little bit more about your desk? Well, you know what? Let's take a little tour of my desk. So this is the part of my desk that my camera goes up against. There's my friend Norman, who you've learned about over the last few years. There's me and my wife, my wife and I. And there we are down there again. Yeah, isn't that a fun picture? Look at that awesomeness. Uh, heart quartz, rose quartz, and then look at this beautiful desk. So this has got all kinds of some really cool stuff written on. Now is the time to think and act, set some goals, do your very best, read for knowledge and for wisdom and wonder. And this is my chair. Check out my chair. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Check out my chair. <laughs> it's a work of art, truly. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's so much really cool research. And this is what I want to talk to you about today, about how do we keep our lights on when, uh, my goodness, there's so much darkness conspiring. You know, having our face in a screen eventually does wear us down. There's a lot of research out there. It creates a lot of inflammation. It's not good for our eyes. It's not good for circadian rhythm. It's very pummeling to our serotonin. Therefore, it's pummeling to our melatonin. So all the things that we can be doing. So yes, having beautiful things to look at while you're working. Pictures of loved ones. A house plant. Now I've got some pretty significant house plants here, up here in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. But you can actually get the same blessing, truly, by just having a house plant on the corner of your desk. It uh, augments serotonin. It actually helps to lower cortisol. It gives you creativity and flow. And interesting enough, just taking a few moments each and every hour or once or twice a day, whatever you feel comfortable with, take your fingers and drop them into the soil that your house plant is in. Ideally, it's organic soil. It's, it's you know, it's uh, clean and it's awesome. It's clean dirt. You know what I mean? Because when you do that, you are literally stimulating through your, underneath your nails where the dirt is, hopefully get it in there deep enough. Don't go wash your hands, just kind of wipe it off and then get back to work. But as you're doing that, the dirt literally gets under your nails and actually helps to stimulate the microbiome, which is, you know, your microorganism, the biggest organism in your entire being, which helps with health and well-being, your immune system, managing inflammation. And it really, really makes a giant impact in your mood. Uh, helps you with optimism, helps you to fight depression, helps you to fight against anxiety. So just doing these little things where you have beautiful things to look at. You get up every hour for at least two minutes, you do a plank pose, right? I mean, I get up here, I put my phone over here, not necessarily do it with my phone, but when I'm with you, this is what you can be doing in like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, you can modify go into child's pose, whatever the case may be. The beautiful thing is, is that while we're at home or while we're doing what we're doing more from home, we get an opportunity to decorate our lives. We get an opportunity to stimulate our vagus nerve, which is basically the house of peace, the house of optimism and emotional resilience. So the more that we are consciously and with intention setting our lives up to really be in the space of grace, and not allow what's going on out there in the world to fully take over because it wants to these days, do yourself the opportunity, do yourself the heart-centered solid and build a firewall between what's out there that you don't want to come in here and overwhelm or overtake you and live from the inside out. Remember, your inner atmosphere creates your outer weather. This is a beautiful time, if possible, to live what somewhat monastically. Somewhat monastically, you know, look around your life. Who are the people you want to have in there that really augment your sense of peace and purpose and possibilities? And what is not? People, things, media. And get very, very clear that you are the orchestrator for the most part. I pray you have that opportunity to orchestrate parts of your life, if not most of your life, to really, really show and declare and demonstrate how much you love yourself and protect your heart and soul during these very challenging, uniquely, uniquely exhausting times. Sitting it out, 
being a human being versus a human doing. So when you need to do, you can do it with a sense of being. So with that, thank you for allowing me to take a tour with you. But more importantly, thank you for allowing me to be part of the world that you live in. I love being in your world and gosh, do I love having you in mine. From the depth of my heart, deep love, much gratitude. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.